The Western Cape, home to Parliament, is the most hotly contested province in the country. BDFM talks to the political leadership on election day. Cape Town is, I think since 1994, it's always been hotly contested and lots of parties registered to vote here. I do think that our democracy is beginning to stabilise and that people are looking at issues that affect them on a daily basis rather than just looking at voting uh, for a particular party. So my hope really today is that uh, Cape Townians would have noticed and seen that uh, what the DA has achieved over the past five years, that they will must consider giving us a chance another five years so we can continue the good work that we started in 2009. Well, I have had the opportunity to travel uh, throughout the province in looking at different voting stations. Clearly there were logistical problems, uh, ballot papers arriving late, voters' rolls arriving late, IEC officials some arriving late and so on which I think in a sense uh, will demoralize some of the voters who have standing queues since 5 a.m. this morning. But I think the voting is picking up and uh, I think we should be able to, to see probably throughout the night people voting, maybe until about 10, 11. Well, it's 20 years after our new democracy and our fifth general elections that we can vote. And I still feel excited the way I felt in 1990. <laughs> because with your vote, you can vote for change. With your vote, you can uh, express how you feel. From where we sit, we are in this election for victory, for overwhelming majority for the ANC. But also we take into consideration the fact that as all polls probably will have shown, this is going to be highly contested. I mean, others are even giving errors of margins of 10 to 12 percent, which means it's really going to be the swing vote that determines who will be the winner in the Western Cape. But I think for now the important thing we are focused on ensuring that every ANC voter comes out and vote and we are victorious in this election. And uh, if it happens that we don't get a majority or we are in that scenario, we will obviously apply our minds there. You know, I worked for the past three months, six months, I've worked across the country, from the Eastern Cape, Northern Cape, Gauteng, all over. And every time I come back home to Cape Town, I realize how fortunate we are to be living in this province uh, and, and how we are leaps and bounds ahead of, of other provinces and other cities, just in terms of how clean the cities are. You know, how um, the roads with, with, with no potholes and I think that we have really achieved a lot as the city of Cape Town, but that, that's in, a, in working together with our communities. So uh, really uh, the campaign was long and hard, but it was worth the while. There is a lot of things that we want to change, particularly redirecting resources to address the inequalities that are very deep in this province. To really begin to ensure that we address the very social structure of Western Cape of integrating communities so that we deal with the legacy of apartheid. So that we use that opportunity if we have, for instance, as an ANC, to address the issues of job creation, which are so fundamental to our communities. So these are some of the things that really will be focused on when the ANC is in government in Western Cape.